All right, today we're going to look at how to bind the HP6 DSM transmitter to the Blade 120 SR. I think this comes stock with the uh, the Blade SR. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm making this video because when I bought this transmitter to upgrade from my stock, I couldn't find how to bind it. Um, so this is for anyone who who wants to know that's in this scenario. So the first thing we're going to do is put the battery in. Um, and go ahead and uh, plug it in. And what we're looking for is uh, the battery or the, the LED on the back to start blinking kind of erratically. And right there you can kind of see it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, hold in the trainer switch up here and turn it on at the same time. That'll blink just like that. Hold it for a couple seconds. You hear it click. It's bound. So uh, now we have full everything. Everything set up. Now you want to make sure that you correctly set up the dip switches here because I had trouble with this too. That's the setup I run. It's a three up, six up, seven up. Um, you can also run just four up and the rest down. But with 7-Up, it's in uh, heli mode, and then you reverse the, uh, the rudder and something else there, whatever 3 is. And um, so basically that's the diff switch setup. So, hey, yeah, you're 100% ready to fly now. I like this, this uh, transmitter a lot better because of the trim. It's, it's a, lot, a lot better in the throttle with the uh, little dips you can kind of feel. Um, everything is fully functional up here. You want to make sure you run it on the, the high. It's the, the D rates are on high in this channel 5 scroller the whole way up. Um, this is used for the aerobatic, like 3D flying. And the throttle hold is also a really nice feature because you can uh, just shut it off, pretty much lock it out, but you can still keep it bound and everything on. It's not on the 